Welcome into Post Game Live presented by Cure Auto Insurance. The Flyers lose this one in Buffalo tonight. They are now winless in their last six games. Their playoff hopes are great, greatly dwindling as of right now. They're getting some help, but those scores are not final. But as a whole, Al, this is not the Flyers that we've seen this whole season. The fight's there. Great. You saw some more effort tonight. But this was a must-win situation to keep your playoff hopes live to snap this streak, and it just couldn't get it done. Yeah, winless in six, but not hopeless because of the teams behind them that are right. having trouble winning, although now Pittsburgh's got hot and Washington's uh, heated up a bit. But, I mean, you look at this game, and if all things being equal, if this was December, maybe January, and you say, well, they played so well, they outplayed the other team, they got, uh, they got out goaltended in, in this night. Mm -hmm. But it's too late in the season to say, well, that's nice. Well, it's not nice. It's not nice because you had to, you had to connect on some of those opportunities. You had to have better goaltending in this game. And yep. a guy's second game in the NHL, he comes in and gives up a couple of goals here. But you, your offense couldn't make up for it. So it's uh, it, breaking down and saying, oh, well, what an effort. Uh, look at the uh, shots on goal. Look at the territorial edge. Doesn't much matter right now. That was at, le at least the point you wanted to grab out of this out of this evening. Right. And you mentioned Fedotov, his second game for the Flyers. You're not ready to bury him. You would like to see him make more saves. But give the guy a chance, especially when the Flyers didn't give him much help in the defensive zone, which leads us to England presents Lager up, which is Jack wins two goals for the Knights for the Buffalo Sabres, and they just didn't do many favors, Al. No, it's uh, two you know, Flyers, you know, coming back here, and Buffalo comes in, and this is late in the period, too, which is why it makes it doubly awesome, awful, and that, that's the second one over the blocker um, from a, you know, good shot, hard shot, but still, that's a, especially late in the period, so it was a kind of a double whammy thing, not a great goal, and late in a period to go past a goaltender like that. Flyers came back from it to try to get try to get crawl back into this game but that'll really hurt you at the end of a period a goal that uh, probably shouldn't have gone right and you look at the flyers as a whole and the second goal is especially where they fight back right and they have this comeback you know hope but then it gets buried and that's been the past six games yeah later later in the game here and can't control the rebound gets short side again gets through him and there's a uh, basically what should have been the the backbreaker in, in a game like this no uncontrolled and then past that short side as i mentioned and that really really kind of deflates everything they still made some push afterwards but there's another one you think all right get that one back maybe we're in but there's too many maybes too many could have too many, you know, uh, great shots, uh, opportunities that were just not taken advantage of. Right, and you look at what went wrong tonight, and there are a number of things that the Flyers can improve on. Granted, they did look better than they did the past couple of games in this winless streak, and they came. I thought they came out with more juice, more effort. That was good to see. But as a whole, and it's been the problem the entire year, is you do not capitalize on your chances. How many intermissions are we doing? We're talking about Finish. Flyers' chances. Yeah, no finishing. Uh, and that's where, when you saw in the four-on-four, Buffalo skilled players. They, you know, even though their record is far less than the Flyers, they're four on four with those skilled players. The Flyers still searching for that. You're looking for the breakthrough. Tippett had a, a great surge in this game, but you can, even if you got speed, you move in. You have to, you have to have guys that make you pay. Now look at this goaltender played terrific. There's no doubt about it. He played terrific against them. But at this point in the season, you get that nu that number of shots. This is where you have to, you just have to take advantage of those opportunities. Right, and especially as we look around the league and keep track of those scores of the teams below the Flyers right now in the playoffs. Al and I were talking about it. You're seeing these teams come back because of their power play yeah. and their scoring power play goals. And this is something that's biting you as well, especially this time of year. Yeah, and you wonder if, you wonder if, I mean, you just surrender. It's like you don't. Even when they came back on a, as they say, the clean sheet of ice at the beginning of a period, you really, it's pretty. It's a pretty hopeless feeling. Now I will say that Drysdale coming in looked like that could perk it up at, at some point because I thought he had a strong game here. But overall, it's not. And I think it's also in the opposition's head when that happens. They're not as deflated when they take a penalty. It's like you take a penalty against some teams that their power players. So I was like, oh my lord! How comes. many times do we yep. say, well, the Flyers better stay out of the box because so and so on the other team or their power play unit is this? But that's not happening the other way with the Flyers on the power play. Right. It's not intimidating in the slightest. As we go back to Buffalo and go down to the Flyers locker room to hear from Noah Cates. Second period is really what you guys want to be doing at this kind of year that you just carry over into tomorrow night, hopefully. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we were just grinding them out. 
um, you know, having good hard shifts, good hard changes, and um, I think that line was stuck out there, and we had a good change, and um, just kind of found some ice at the top of the zone, great, tip made a great play, and um, just kind of shot it low. So, um, like you said, though, we need to grind it out against these teams. Um, you know, they're dangerous teams. They have some really good offensive weapons, but they don't want to play in their own zone. Is it just facing another good goalie kind of thing tonight again? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think we... You know, still, we've talked about a lot, just kind of getting traffic in front of them and, you know, tips and, and second chances and rebounds, stuff like that. So, um, you know, we had a lot of shots, but, you know, if, if we take his eyes, like uh, on that second goal, I think, um, kind of took his eyes, we had a guy in front and uh, stuff goes in. So a little bit more of that, I think, and being a little bit more direct. What does it do for your confidence personally to have two goals in two games now? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, you feel a little lighter out there. and. Um, you know, when you're shooting the puck, you feel like it's going to go in every time. So, um, you know, it's big for me and just trying to help this team and especially this time of year, the depth and different things like that. And everyone needs to be going. So, um, you know, really happy that, you know, I'm helping and I need to just keep it going every game is big here. How do you not let negative feelings get in, <clears throat> slip into this thing, knowing that you're still in it, and but, but you're on a bit of a slump? Um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're obviously in a good spot and we're in a spot that, you know, I don't think anyone thought we'd be in except for the guys in here. So we're really positive. We like where we're at and, um, you know, it's just finding a way to, you know, whatever way it is, front door, back door, um, you know, through the roof is kind of what we're saying. Just find a way to win. So um, it doesn't have to be pretty. I think that's kind of what we need to reiterate. It doesn't have to be pretty to this time of year and um, just getting two points is all we need to be looking forward to tomorrow. Oh, tip it over here. Flyers lose this one in Buffalo 4-2. Stay with us post game live presented by Curado Insurance. Hearing from Owen Tippett coming up. Flyers post game live is presented by Cure Auto Insurance. See how much you can save at cure.com.